We humans have pretty humble origins. Actually, rumor has it that the other kind of humanoid creatures, I guess we ate them. Or so I learned from rewatching Westworld, which is what I've been doing to tolerate this quarantine. I'm going a little crazy. But we've eventually come up with different technologies, usually revolving, uh, you know, weapons of war. Whoa, something's growling at me. You know, and so like, say you needed to knock down a stone wall back in the day. Yeah, we're, we're just now chiseling rocks into throwable things and it was some dude crafted a giant destructible wall yeah it's awesome but you know siege equipment has evolved over the year oh well, that that wasn't very good see throwing rocks and stone walls isn't effective even if they're kind of weak look at that it's a cute little window hey it's a butterfly leaf Oh my god, those are butterfly leaves. But then we're like, hey man, we got these things called wheels and gears. Why don't we chuck the rock via a catapult? And look at how much more effective it is at destroying walls. All right there, Bobby. You, you, a, you need to get yourself out of the catapult and, and fire the stone at it. That's the, that's the point. Did you just materialize that out of your brain? And they say you can't be whatever you want to be in life. All you got to do is dream it. He dreamed he was a rock. Wait a minute. That's not a bad idea. What if we put people in the catapult? It, the files are in the computer. Have you ever thought to yourself, you know what would be really cool is if you take a catapult and have it fire humans? Just like people at the walls. <laughs> well, in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, we've decided to create a halfling catapult. And I have a question for you. If you're firing... What is this? One, two, three, four, five. It's a, it's a catapult ball of hobbits. How many walls can you destroy? Well, let's go ahead and try five walls and see if five, if the catapult. All right, you may fire when ready. And I want to see just at how, like, the velocity that these guys come out is so impactful. Okay. So it looks like they kind of dented the first ones. When they're like this, Oh, you know what we could do? We could space them out a little bit better so we should be able to see the hobbits, if they do manage to make it, fly through the walls. And now things are properly centered. So, how many hobbits? How effective is the hobbit catapult? Okay, it kind of fires low, so it went through one, it toppled two, and then we just have the domino effect. So, whoever's designing these walls is an idiot. I burn. Did you do that? But the fun thing about these walls is like you can also ram them with horses. You what are you what are you doing? The horse is afraid of the wall. That's very interesting. Siege equipment fires and ranged knows where the enemy walls are. I got bad news. We we can no longer use the hobbit catapult because the hobbits didn't really like the idea, so they created a castle and they're guarding the bridge and they're saying that anybody who's going to try to take hobbits and use them as ammunition and catapults, uh, it's illegal. So, wait a minute, what, what is that smell? It smells terrible. Oh my god, it's pigs. I don't know where these pigs came from, but uh, we're sending them in to try to get the hobbits, knock the hobbits fort out, but it doesn't look very effective. We have all these pigs. And they're really bad fighters, and we have to take care of a castle because we need the hobbits to arm the catapults, but we don't have hobbits, but we have pigs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I feel like it just stands to reason that if we've got a lot of pigs and a lot of catapults, that we should make pigapults. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Baron uses pigapults. It's very effective. Look at this. Oh my god, that's incredible. Okay, now I now I've got to test it. I've got to test it. I gotta know if firing halflings at the wall is nearly as effective as the cows. Oh, they're not. Okay, so maybe it it was a really good decision. Oh, look at this little pig running around with an arrow in its butt. I tell you what, the good thing is, is like, not only can you take out the castles of your enemies using the, the pigapults, but you can also have so much pork and bacon after a battle. You can feed your army. Why didn't they use it as ammunition and food? And if you think about it, but Baron, the meat is really tough. How are we gonna tenderize it? I've got an idea. We will throw them against the walls. 
This is literally three birds with one stone or many, many pigs against walls of stone. It just makes sense in totally aggro battle simulator at least. I mean, that's just impressive. That wall is just absolutely rocked. But this is kind of fun when we get to like look back and combine some of the old mods that we have. And here's the question for you guys today. Which mod do you want to be updated and released? Because I think it's high time we circle back and fix some of the, you know, the issues with some of those mods. Get them fixed up so that they're in a releasable state. Because I think the only one that's released right now is the Clone Wars, man. Or was it, no, Mando and Yoda? Oh my gosh. So, but this has me thinking. If we can fire rocks out of catapults, and halflings out of catapults, and pigs out of catapults. Is there any animal that's bigger that we could throw out of a catapult? Well, we saw that the hobbits only managed to get through one of the walls and they de and they hit the second wall and it caused a domino collapse, but they didn't just fly through it. And look at these, these pigs went through, they went through all five walls. Test number two. Maybe we just got really lucky that first time. All right, this is test, I don't know, 576. Oh, see, that one was a lot better. Sometimes they get better. And just to reconfirm the weakness of halflings, showing that they are an inferior projectile to fire out of a catapult. <laughs> I wonder why, wait a minute, why did we use stone? Let's see. All right, here's a regular catapult stone. Now, I guess part of it affects the velocity, right? Or rather the trajectory. Like, if it's firing in a straight line and it has enough, um, impact? K something something physics terminology. Yeah, it's firing kind of down. I dare say, though, that a catapult rock looks like it can get through three walls pretty easily. The problem is that the Vikings really kind of took this wall building to heart and they're like, well, if you can break through walls easy, we're just gonna make more of them and they've got a ton of frost archers so we're gonna try to see how effective halfling catapults are here some of these walls are gonna fall but like they, they took out the tower but i feel like the vikings should i mean they got a front line of infantry that we just deus ex mocking it in here so the land battle would be cooler <laughs> you know what I feel like berserkers can jump, right? There could be really cool berserker catapults. Here we go, guys. What would you like to see in a catapult? A tabs modded catapult, what should put in? Because right now, I think it's clear to see that the hobbits, they're not going to Isengard. They're not gonna kick these Vikings butt in their castle. They're gonna have to go back to the drawing board because their siege equipment's not much. Let's see if the pigs are any stronger. Now we know that pig catapults are stronger, but pig infantry aren't very good. I don't know. There's something about pigs fighting that just doesn't seem to work too well. So let's see. Oh, that that is considerably better in terms of doing siege damage to the walls. But the pigs, I feel like we're missing something. Because we've seen hobbits who are small people, and we've seen pigs. But I feel like there's a combination out there is also going to harken back to one of our other mods, the Lord of the Rings mod, and associate with pigs and small people. But what is it as this man hacks up some morning bacon? You remember Dane from The Hobbit? How he rode that armored pig out to battle? He's a dwarf. I feel like dwarves in Hobbits have a lot in common, including... What? I can see inside your brain. <laughs> you see how mods need a lot of work? This, so armoring a bigger pig with t mean old looking tusks just seems like... Oh, and they've got charging animations, so they're definitely going to be better. Firing Hobbit catapults. Oh, that one was great because look at this. Let's just let's just appreciate physics in action. This wall's collapsing. These guys don't even know it just yet, and these Hobbits are about to just smack that dude in the face and knock him over. Wait a minute. How did you fire that far? Look at the pig taking that guy's bow with him, and the whole wall collapses through sheer force of kinetic energy from pigs, from hobbits, and, and from ramming boars. They're not just little cute little pink bacon pigs anymore, guys. And yeah, right now I've got some ideas for like, I don't know, I think, I think the five armies from the Hobbit, the final battle, would be pretty cool as factions for the Lord of the Rings mod. There's so many Lord of the Rings factions 
It's like the pirates of Umbar, the, the, or the Corsairs of Umbar. The Herodrim, you know, the Variags of Khand. The Dol Amrothy Knights, who are like really cool. And then there's, we got Rohan and the Urukai, but then we need like, you know, Moria, Morian Goblins. There's just so much. So it's like, which faction do we do? But circling back to this here mod, while you guys leave the suggestions in the comments below, I'm kind of curious how good a mammoth is at knocking down walls. Slow and steady seems to win the race, and when there's a domino effect, look at that, he, he did it perfectly. But that's not cool. Are you taking a nap? You know, having a mammoth walk up and just nudge it over. What we need is more ferocity out of you, big boy. So what we're gonna do, is load you in a catapult. <laughs> we are gonna make a mammoth catapult and fire <laughs> five of them at a time. And <laughs> look at that. <laughs> okay, they took them all out now. Let's just check. Is it still better than a pig catapult? I don't know, man. The, ca the pig catapult is pretty dang good. Here's the mammoth again. Uh, since a lot of them- Oh! Hey! That's three points, right? Do we win the game? Okay. Yeah, you, you get a, a little unlucky because a lot of them just hit the ground before. That was kind of the hobbit's problem, too. Maybe pigs just have a better trajectory. And I know you guys are thinking, Baron, let's see these dwarves help defend Helm's Deep. And we're gonna see that in a moment. Well, I, I don't know how he did it, but the Stone Age faction is in the stone brick age now and they're led by the chieftain and they've armed themselves on these walls so i think it's time to put the mammoth catapult and a halfling catapult and a pig catapult and bring out bring out dane the dwarf lord led by their war piggies and their armored boars i feel like that's a pretty strong battle line so let's see what we got here now how are they gonna do all right so we look at all three sections Ooh. The pigs and the mammoths are firing <laughs> at the chieftain who looks like he's doing some kind of dance and I don't know. Maybe he's had too much of the fermented sugar. Cause this man is about to get wrecked. He, he looked super weird. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh, totally accurate siege battles, baby. Tazba. Totally accurate siege battles. That's not a bad, a Tazba? You know? Look at these guys. They absolutely destroy, but you can see that these dwarves, they're kind of like alpha versions of the dwarves right now. But they work, but I, I just was thinking, you know, like pigs, boars. Oh, remember The Hobbit? <laughs> and I know, the movies weren't nearly as good as the trilogy was, the Holy Trilogy. But my god, man, these guys know how to win a siege battle. Speaking of siege battles, now they gotta learn to defend one. Now the unfortunate thing about Helm's Deep, if you're a siege attacker, is I don't care who you are, or how strong you are. Like, these walls are just too good. Oh my god, these mammoths flew over the mountains in the back. <gasps> that is awesome. But these walls are so ancient and strong. It's like, were they built by magic? They were actually, weren't they built by the dwarves? But like, you can't just blow them up this way. You need something stronger. I don't care how good pigs, halflings, and mammoths are. You gotta use black powder, and this is still my favorite moment of any mod. And that goes to say even more than the clone troopers and the Warhammer 40k Space Marines, which we showed off most recently. If you missed that video, gotta check it out. It's awesome. But this thing right here, the deeping wall, was it was the only weakness. And Wormtongue told Sourman, the angry, that the only way, this was the only way in. Only one weakness in this giant wall. There's only one weakness. Hey, the first one detonated and it didn't blow up. Look at this. And voila, the wall collapses and the hobbits are going to, no, this is an Isengard. This is just Helm's Deep. The hobbits are here though. So how can the dwarves help? Oh my God, I just created soccer. Look at this. Dun 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 Tetris song. Samba de Janeiro. That's what we should have playing. So this is the situation. The men of Rohan are very, very low on men. They've only got a few archers. One dude who's just invented rave music, and a couple archers on the deeping wall. And this is normally where the elves come in and really help out, right? And Legolas is like, hey. You want to stand on a box? And Gimli's like, I'll chop your nuts off. 
what? That's not how I remember it. So, how do they defend against this? Because they've even brought in an Oliphant. And crossbowmen and pikemen. <laughs> oh, they've got a cave troll. Oh, I love this. So this is just a random giant guy. We don't we don't have uh, any trolls yet. So the dwarves here gotta come in and help the day, right? So they're gonna have their little counter charge ready. Obviously, they're bringing pigs because it's totally a good battle simulator. And they brought in the hobbits. I wonder how good. I feel like if we made Legolas, he'd be he'd be like Artemis, but like even better. And then Gimli would just be like Dane, but even better. And honestly, these these dwarves, they're fun alpha concepts, right? Okay. So, whoa, these guys just replicated their bombs working as intended, guys. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that one's close enough because... Oh, wait, the dwarves are on the other side. Oh, God, this could be bad. This could be bad. All of the dwarves are clogging this hole. I actually haven't watched the explosion from the rear here. So, hey, there we go. Two of them went off and look at that. We have detonation. The wall has collapsed. R where's the cave troll? It's kind of hard to see what's going on because there's just so much carnage. The smoke is clearing. The Oliphant is here. The Urukai pikemen are charging through the breach. And by that, I mean actually the dwarves have countercharged. <laughs> the archers are now able to fire from greater distances, so they're actually worth something. And this dwarf's like... Hey, man, these are really cool steps. I really like how you took the time. Ah! So this is this is the totally aggro battle of Helm's Deep going on right here. We got crossbowmen who... Is that how you properly hold a crossbow, guys? Oh, this Rohanian guy's like, hey, man, I'll join the battle. And please go away. The greatest defense to the front gate. Oh, but the, the Urukai swordsmen are doing a flanking maneuver here. They're coming out of the keep. And it looks like if they can actually navigate this bridge, which I'll be impressed if they do. You guys are doing really good. Oh, watch out. You got Rohanians over there. Yeah, that's right. Split up the forces. Dude, none of you guys fell off. I am so proud of you. You don't know how much of an accomplishment that is. Let's see how good these guys are doing. Because what I'd love is their shields to be able to deflect crossbow bolts. And armor. What if armor was actually a thing? Instead of just, like, increasing the hit points? <laughs> the Urukai is like, yeah! Oh, man. That's awesome. <laughs> you guys did good. It looks like the Urukai are going to take this one. I feel like the forces of good need some new units. Maybe a new faction. And I need your help to come up with which one that is going to be. Because the Urukai are storming through. And they're killing everybody. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Totally Aga Battle Simulator. We've got a lot of stuff that we want to have done. We want to make done. We want to get done. So let me know where the modding should go next. Start a new one. Address an old one. Update. Release. What do we got? Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.